Welcome everyone, this is another episode about uh, paths, uh, modules. Uh, today we'll focus on something common also in other programming languages, the use uh, keyword. I'll use two projects. You can see here we have one with the main.rs file. The other project that I will use is uh, this uh, one, which is basically a library. You can see here a lib.rs file. You can use a project like this, a library, by typing cargo new dash dash lib and then the name of the library. Let's start checking this uh, previous example. We have this module here, which has inside it a public module and inside that a public function. And then let's say that we want to use this module. For example, we can have this public function in this library that is for the front house, so to eat at the restaurant. We want to provide this function to someone so they can eat at our restaurant. Check line 8, we have this use and then this is, if you remember, an absolute path. So use, create, front of house hosting and then we can use this inside this function. If we type cargo build in this case because we are in a library, we can see here that it's compiling properly. What if we have this function on line 10 wrapped inside another module? Let's say that we have a module called customer and inside this we have this function. Do you think that this will work or not. Let's try. We add this module and if we try to build it, no. We have an error here. Failed to resolve. Use of undeclared create or module hosting. If we have this module that wraps this function, then we don't have this use anymore because this use is just in this scope. If we can create an inner scope, this is not available anymore. Let's remove this module for now, but we will come to this later. I want to discuss something else. You see that on line 8 we have use create front of house hosting and then we are using hosting again here. There is another way to do this and this way is to add even this function here. If here on line 8 we do something like this, in this inner scope we can just type add to waitlist. Let's try cargo build and this does work. I want now to show you something which you might be more familiar with. We will take uh, this other project so we can have this main.rs file and also execute something. And in this case, uh, I want to type at the top of the file this std, it stands for standard library, collections, hash map. I want to import this hash map. Hash map is a data structure. We'll have, of course, a lesson or even more specifically about the hash map. Function main, let mutable map, hash map new, and here we can create an insert, and hash map is basically it has some key value pairs and then we can have two of them and then we can print this map cargo run dash q and you can see here we are printing the hash map with this import at the top of the file it makes sense that we import just the hash map and then inside this we type hash map double color new this is also to avoid confusion if we use the new keyword in this case it's very clear that here i'm using the hash map module and the new function inside the hash map module. In the previous example, this one, I created this function. So maybe just to save some time, instead of importing just a hosting and adding hosting double colon add to wait list, I can add the single function here and then I can just refer to this add to wait list because it's more uh, custom. What if when we import different modules, we have the same name? 
Let's see an example because this is also something that happened to me the first time I created a web server in Rust. For example, I can have these two imports. One is using the standard library STD FMT, which stands for format. And then we can use this one, use STDIO, which stands for input output. Both of these modules have a result. For example, let's create two functions, fn function one, and then we can see we import this FMT result, okay, here. And then we can have a second function with IO result. We can do cargo build, this should work. Yes, it's giving some warnings because we're not using them. But I want you to focus on line 6 and 11. On line 6, we are using the format module result. On line 11, we are using the input output result which is also as is uh, you see it's different even the signature is different is there a different way to differentiate uh, the two imports yes there is a way for example i can use for this uh, on line three result and for the input output result as this is a new keyword io result and then here i can have result and here I can have the different one. This should work. Yes, this still works. So what if we want to re-export names? Can we do this? Let's go back to this example. We had a module, we had this function, and then we had this use. What if we want to reuse this library and make also this create available from the outside. We can just use the pub keyword. It's syntactically correct to use the pub keyword before this use keyword. So if we want this to be re-exportable, I'm exporting something that I already imported. Maybe in some other cases, when I import something, I don't want this to be also re-exported. Then in this case, I just use this crate internally. This shows again that Rust is super secure and if I'm not sure, you are not allowed to do anything. And now something very important, how to use external packages. For example, here I want to use the random package. You can see here on line three, use rand double colon rng, which stands for range, fn main let secret number you see like this let's change the syntax here and then we can also print the secret number do you think that this will work or not cargo run dash q no use of undeclared create or module around it has no idea what around is. The problem is that it's like when I use a package in uh, JavaScript, but I didn't uh, need the npm install. Okay, so now there are two ways. One would be to change the cargo.toml file here, but uh, there is another way. We can type cargo add run and check the cargo.toml file. It imported the the rand crate in the dependencies. Cargo add the name of the crate is the same of doing npm install npm i. Let's try this again. Cargo run dash q. It's working. The secret number is 55. But now you should be confused because you remember that some minutes ago I did an example with the hash map. So why did that work and now this is not working? Let's try here. Use std collections, collections hash map, this map insert, print and the map. Check line four, but check the cargo.toml file. If I try this, this works. Why? You see this std? std is the standard library. So by default, I don't have it. But if I type std, it's imported in this package by default. 
for example, also in Node, we have something like that. We don't have to install uh, some packages because they are embedded in the Node uh, core module. How to use nested paths to clean up large use lists. STD CMP ordering. And then let's say that I also want to use this STD.io. I think if I want to import many packages, but in this case, if I want to import many, instead of doing this, I can do something like that. Use STD CMP ordering IO. I think it's especially for readability. Use STD IO. And then we also have use STD IO, which stands for input, output, write. In this case, I can do something like this. Use std self, which stands for the whole package, and then or anything else. So if I want to import the whole package, I can type self. Last concept for today is the globe operator. Let's say that I want to import everything in collections. Use std double colon collections double colon and then asterisk. Of course, this should be used only when we really want to import everything. <laughs> but I remember me doing this at the very beginning of my coding career. Just to be sure, you know, you import everything. I want to know if this is also your case. <laughs> and this is the end of the lesson about the use keyword. We really needed a specific lesson to see different use cases about this keyword that is used a lot, especially when we want to import and use different crates, but we don't want to write the whole path, even if that's absolute or relative, every single time. That's the main reason why the use keyword exists.